Good morning, friends and family, YouTube worldwide. Welcome back to my channel. I would like to give thanks to the Most High for allowing everything possible, for allowing me to get to work safely to give you this content. Today is Good Friday. Today is the best day of the work week. Today is payday. Don't forget to pay yourself first. Don't forget to pay yourself at least 10% of your weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly salary. Today is week 28 of the $1.52 week challenge, cash stuffing, and coin dropping vacation sinking fund. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. I am just sharing what works for me. Here we manage our money wisely. Here we create a budget. Here we save and spend later. Here we set financial goals. Here we invest early. Here we avoid debt. To summarize what I just said, here we earn, save, and invest for the long haul. Here we are building a solid financial foundation. Here we make sure that we are fully funded on a weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly basis. We are money managers. As money managers, I would like to go over the three golden rules of money management. Golden rule number one, don't spend more than you earn. Golden rule number two, always plan for the future. Golden rule number three, help your money grow. In order to stay ahead financially, you have to be disciplined, patient, because building wealth takes time. And we are going to fully fund our coin jar. And we want to get this out of the way now. But we want to count what we have here. We're supposed to have $25. You know, every time I go to the bank, like I said, they are always accurate. So I never have a problem. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, and twenty eight. So we could put this to the side for now. And we are going to fully fund the jar. All right. So I am back. Vacation is over. I had an awesome, awesome vacation. Don't want to be back. You know, I would love to stay, you know, and enjoy it more. You know, these trips, when I go back home to Honduras, these are trips that you got to take at least two weeks minimum because of what you got to go through, you know, to get over there. You know, it takes about six hours to get there. So that's like basically almost half a day, you know, to get to a destination. So trips like that, like when I go back home, because, you know, when I go home, I got to do maintenance. I got to do cleaning. I got to pay for this. I got to pay for that, you know, so... You know, these are trips that I got to take at least two weeks off minimum, you know. So hopefully my next trip will, will be next year. I'm going to go down there for two weeks because one week is not enough, you know. But I had an awesome vacation. You know, the first weekend was, you know, my birthday weekend. So, you know, we ended up going up to the Bay Islands, you know, where we had our family reunion so that was a great great outing you know i got to meet people that i've never met before people from different you know country different states you know it was it was it was a beautiful experience you know if you were, was to ever have a family reunion i recommend you go so we have it says 434 so we are supposed to have 435 so something something went wrong here but we will figure it out and I'll fix it later. So we are going to mark. $29 that we put in. Actually, this is not wrong. We are in week 29. I said we were in week 28. So I will put another coin 
my apologies. We are in week 29. So, I'm going to have to go into my envelope. And here we have one more. And there you go. So we have 435. So this is accurate. This is behaving. So we can put this here for now on the side. We're done with the coins. Now we're going to do the notes. And we are going to put $29 in dollar notes. 29. We will have 435. So we are going to put, use this. We. 29 and we are going to put $29 oops in dollar notes we have our paper clip and we are going to count $29 so we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. We'll put this here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I don't know what's up with me fumbling these dollars. Okay, so we have $29. Let's put this to the front because this is going to be problems for some apparent reason. We 29. And there you go. Put this here in this envelope. We got week 27, week 28, and week 29. Put it there. Close it. Put this to the side. What else am I missing? So we are done with this. So now we are going to fully fund our recoup and our vacation sinking fund. So we can start with the recoup, in which we will put $25. We have 20, 40, 50. We have 25, 20, 40, 60, 75. The third week of the month. So we have that. So before I count the vacation sinking, we are going to write it down $25 for the recoup in which what I just did just now we're gonna put $25 to our vacation sinking funds so that's $775 that we will be having so we got $750 here we want to double check that so we got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 50, 750. We're going to put $25, which is going to make it $775. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 75. So $775 total our vacation sinking fund. This is going to come in handy, but you know, every time I go on vacation, I always take an extra $1,000 just in case. My trip to Honduras, I, <laughs> I spent too much, all right? I went over my budget, and if I'm not mistaken, two weeks ago, I was telling you about the international fee that I usually do not incur because I don't use credit cards overseas. I broke the rules. I used my credit card overseas when I went back home to Honduras.
because I knew I was going to, but well, I didn't know the way I was giving money away, people tipping people, tipping this, tipping that, cab driver, vendor, you know, I already knew I was gonna go over my budget. So I had to use my credit card when I went to Walmart in La Ceiba. That's, Honduras has Walmart. So when I went to go get, you know, the stuff for the kids, I had to use my credit card because I knew I was gonna go over the cash that I had. So I broke the rules, things happen, but the credit card's already paid for, so I'm good. All right, so let's make sure that we are, I have a quote of the week. I'm gonna put this down for now. We're done with this, we're done with that. Guam insurance is fully funded. Water bill is fully funded. Mortgage for the next month, fully funded. I'm a month ahead on this every month and all your bill is fully funded what we have for the week we have nothing really planned for the week i gotta take my bike for service this saturday remember the check engine light came on on my bike so they finally got the part that they ordered so i gotta take it to the shop this week so we're gonna get that out of the way and let me give you the quote of the week which is and do not forget to do good and to share with others for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. And this is from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16. And do not forget to do good and to share with others for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. All right, that's the quote of the week. Friends and family, hope you have a good weekend and God willing we come back with week 30 of the $1.52 week challenge, cash stuffing and coin dropping vacation sinking fund. Peace and love.